So you cannot type it in value one, value two, maybe, maybe, sorry. So, value two, value one, value two. So you see that, that I add to the type casting, that's why change to the data type in these are two years and then so on and so forth. That's the one of the casting issues you need to be do. That's why the lower casting still you need to be in converted. If you try to integer, uh, that is okay. I think so. This is okay. But if you to detect that, that, that output as a, as a, as a byte value, then you need to be type casting issues that has come up together. Uh, adding, adding lower types. <coughs> So, so 40 is okay. So we, we cover uh, what the different type of uh, the type of the, the variables that we have a local variable that's inside the methods. The domain inside the local variable cannot be cannot be static. That's true. And also we have the instance variable, and then also have the have the local uh, the static variables. So static variables means static means it is belongs to the uh, the, the class it's not belongs to the instance of the class that's why you can directly call the the instance variables that you have it here that's all every time and then it says every time same value when you when you call the classes anywhere any part of your applications and it got the same value anywhere everywhere the same value you cannot change the value that's why it's the static variables so we cover a different a different variables and type of variables the local variables static variables and then instance variables and then we we try different different data data type uh, variable weighting we already discussed this once and also the uh, variable type casting uh, from the different 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 data types and also the we can uh, here is the lower flow of the your data and also the the lower type data how can you add the lower type data and then you need to be cast it like the integer or what type of variables you need to the neighbor and uh, neighbor variables or this integer and also the if you need to really add two byte values and to the you need to be flag it byte value and it's just work automatically the word that's where the compilation error a plus b and then not a plus b it's the compilation error should have the this one and 40. so it says the compilation error that's all so we discuss the the variables and the variable types and then we discuss the now we will discuss about the data types, uh, different type of the data, primitive, non-primitive data type, and how the how the, it's important in the Vapor classes. Why it is too important to Vapor class to use uh, for the for the for the primitive data types to convert is a non-primitive or, or object to the auto boxing out uh, unboxing these things together. So go back to the we write down here very simple classes. You see that I define the Vapor classes, this examples, and this the static methods. So, so it's a void method, so it's printing, uh, auto boxing, and unboxing. So it, we defined all the primitive data types, its values. You see the values 10, uh, byte 10, and sort value 20, integer value 30, a long value, plot value, double value with f, float value and d and the character value c characters and the boolean value the two boolean value so if i try to automatically with the vapor class that's vapor class means byte is a uppercase by b short uh, short uppercase s uh, integers long plot and double character and booleans this is all the the vapor classes for the respective uh, primitive data types so just that uh, we put it like the premium vapor class uh, uh, that means the non-primitive data types and then you see the object name we just simply simply uh, the its respective byte so it says a byte primitive type we just put it equal to byte that means is automatically that's uh, that's why it's called the auto boxing that means if you try to convert from the primitive data type to the to the to the to the to the object or uh, vapor objects this is called the auto boxing so we see the auto box and how it how it quickly works it automatically work byte short integer a long 
and plot double characters and booleans this is the auto boxing automatically works you say the printing value white objects sort objects you see the object convert on primitive to the object byte object sort object integer object long object plot object double characters and boolean objects this thing things to get that so that means every every primitive data type it has own 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 OEPR class object definition so then uh, uh, then unboxing that means you have it primitive and non primitive data type or the objects uh, data types and um, and then just to simply again define you by the primitive data type and put it the primitive data variables name and the value of the of the uh, non primitive or wiper class uh, uh, data types and then it simply works so that's called it's why it's called the auto boxing it's called they don't need to nothing to do is automatically convert your 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 your, your primitive to non primitive or your primitive to the to the object and then object to the your primitive values that's the things that's that's really this is the really most important because of the because of the of the your collections framework or data structure everywhere you need and uh, the all the objects in the collections framework so your data structure there is everything is object there is no more anything about the the, the primitive uh, primitive data types of course it says instance variables all the instance data types or static variables held into there but in the in the in the when you try to build any any collections or any structure any, any any list or any 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 maps or any any sets and then all things you need to be there the the uh, non-primitive object class uh, uh, data type so if you have said so let's let's have a check is is the everything works so we put it like all the primitive value we try to convert is a non-primitive value object type value or uh, with the with the help of the auto boxing concept and then we printed all values and then you see the uh, we, we we have the primitive data types and left side and then we have the object object type data and here the non-primitive and unboxing it this one so let's have a check it it is works or not so wiper class and auto boxing unboxing this is the one of the static methods as i said if if you delete the static method then you have to create the instance of the object because we define the static method that would that that thing we don't need to create no don't need to create the instance of the your class so let's have a check <coughs> so it's it works automatically so you see the printing object to the object to the your object to the your uh, primitive uh, primitive to the object data types uh, and here this block everything is okay and then you have the <coughs> object data type to the primitive data type everything is the same but it's automatically that's it's called the uh, auto boxing unboxing issues and this is the why is it too important i try to give it to you an example like if you try to make one convert to one one array uh, or the array and then you try to make it uh, as a list uh, from this array so you, you have input as an array that's this the input value and then you try to to convert this value as like if i go uh, these things so let's uh, comment out this one <coughs> uh, so that's uh, this is tricky Ah, this is here. I see that. So, so you have a different way of the converting the uh, converting the values. Uh, let's see Java old values. Let's, uh, As a commentar, it doesn't work properly. Let's see. So it's the collections as input. This is I will talk about a little bit later about these things together, uh, the collections and collectors and things together, right? 